Good morning, everybody. Today we're looking at the E-LED lights emergency lighting solution. Now let's see what, what comes in the kit here. We got three sets of cables. Each one of these is about 33 feet long or so. I guess maybe 10 meters. We get three emergency light bulbs. We get a, a, a charging unit, which has its own battery. I'll talk about that a little bit later. We get four wall mounting, or maybe, I guess ceiling mounting, wall mounting uh, flanges. We get some uh, a hardware kit that goes with the solar panel, I'm pretty sure. We get some uh, anchor bolts and some stainless steel screws and some uh, cable uh, clamps, so that if we run into cables along walls, these would attach them to, the, to there. Let's, uh, let's take a look at all these things a little bit in more detail. Let's start off looking at the individual light. On the back, you can see there's uh, four slots, and these four slots snap and slide into this uh, permanent mounting bracket, and they gave anchor bolts to, to mount these things to a drywall or concrete wall. On one end we've got a an input and the the three cables that were supplied go in here to, to charge this thing. And then you can see it's got a, a pull chain. It would, uh, it would mount with the pull chain down. You'd have a pull chain, medium, and dim, and then off. So it's four position pull chain. It's got a two amp in a 0 0.5 amp USB charger. They got a lot of those. And you can kind of see how it locks and unlocks. You can see these two triangles. Right now it's in lock position. If you rotate this, it's in unlock position. So these things can be uh, used a little more portable, portably. So uh, there it goes. We got locked back in again. There's also a portable unit here. You can see it's got a charger. It's got an on-off switch. And it hooks right up here. And uh, I guess I can demonstrate. Oh, there we go. So now let me just try the... Notice whenever the unit's on, the green light's on. So uh, you can take this around and use it portably like a flashlight. Here's the charger unit. It has uh, batteries into it as well. Uh, each base unit has its own batteries that, that can charge up, and this has the batteries along with the, uh, the ability to charge. The solar cells plug two of them in here. And then it has what it says link input and link output. And uh, they all seem to have the same kind of plug, and I, uh, I'm guessing... I don't know uh, that, that you would hook multiple of these things up together if you wanted to. So uh, again, it's got the, the two uh, USB chargers and the ability to, to have up to four lights. And if you notice the on off switch, we turn this thing on, you see the green light came on, that means it's running on battery even with no solar power hooked up to it. And then there, I don't know if you notice this, there's a very small yellow charging light. And when we're in the sun, and anything's charging, whether it's the internal battery here charging or any external batteries and the external light's charging, you'll see the yellow light flash. When the yellow light is solid, then you'll know that uh, everything's charged. We turn this off and the light goes out, but if we'd had the, the solar panel plugged in, the light was hitting the solar panel, this green light would turn green again because it still goes through and charges everything even when this is in the off position. So here's the, the charging upside down. And see how it locks on? You notice it has the same hole pattern as these other mounting bases. So this thing goes on here, and then it locks, locks on there. This is the solar panel. You can see it's uh, 27 and a half by 21 and a half inches tall. It's hinged in the middle. Let's turn it upside down. The whole solar panel, I open it up with the hinges, and you can see it's got a... 16 foot cord. Each one of these is 25 watts, giving you a total of 50 watts. It has a nice sturdy aluminum frame. You notice there's, there's some holes here. See there's holes here for mounting here, and they have the same thing for mounting there. And then the middle 
comes with these two brackets. And one of the brackets would go on the bottom. Go right here. Go right here. In order to keep it uh, fully uh, stiffened. Here's the solar panel fully assembled. Get a good detail in these screws. If you notice, I got the lock washer and the washer on the top. And then I, I took my finger and just held it and then put the screw down there and got it started. Or you could maybe put the, the, the nut in some long nose pliers and then get it started. Uh, on the brackets, make sure you got the brackets with the, the flange on the outside. Make sure, you know, like I say, the flange is on the outside because when you're trying to mount this thing there, you got to get your hands in here. So you're going to have to uh, have the flange on the outside. If you have, have these reversed, the flange will be on the inside and there won't be any way to, to get the screws. Well, it's got to be in the sun to charge. They don't have any other way to charge it. So you got the solar panel plugged in here and there's two places for, I guess, an additional solar nice. panel. As the solar panel's on, or if you turn the battery pack on, the green LED light will be on. Well, look at this, it's fully charged. For one time, you see that little yellow, yellow LED? It was blinking, but now it's on solid. So, uh, I guess that means the internal battery's all charged up. I have up. these out charging, uh, for a few hours today. Uh, they seem to take about two hours, two to three hours to completely charge both the battery in the reserve unit and the, the each individual battery in each of the three uh, lighting units. Right, medium, dim, turn the lights off and uh, I'm going to see how long these things stay on. Here we are, five and one half hours. And I'm amazed. Uh, these are supposed to have a six hour life and five and a half hours at full power. And I can even feel it getting a little warm on the top. It's using four watts. That's full power and you can kind of see there's medium, dim, off, full power. So uh, I'm really amazed. Uh, we got another half an hour to go before we're going to get to six hours, and that's the advertised lifespan. And these lower power uh, modes should even last longer. Anyway, I'm here to document it, and we'll see what happens. And then after that, we can try hooking up the reserve power, because there is a reserve battery in the charger unit, and we'll see how long that takes it. Here we are, six and one half hours. It's certainly living up to its claim of six hours, but notice that the light turned blue. So I guess that must mean uh, that it's running low on juice. Well, seven and a half hours and the light died. But these two are still going strong. Nine hours and all is well. No, oh, ten hours and going strong. Here's eleven hours. Well, oh, twelve hours and the LED is still green. Thirteen hours, the blue light's on, on on medium but still going. Okay, 14 hours, and we just lost our medium bulb. I wanted to point out something really interesting. I wish I got it on camera. The LED turned red. 16 hours, light's still green. 19 hours and still running strong. 22 hours and still a strong green light. 23 hours and it's still going. Okay, I just started the lamp up for the start of 24 hours, and now we got a blue light. So 24 hours for a blue light. So uh, anyway, it looks like we're getting near the beginning of the end. 26 hours, and I'm really amazed. We got the low battery warning on there, but it still hasn't gone red. And uh, like I say, I can't believe 26 hours. Here we are, 27 hours, and the, the red light's nice and dim, and it's just about ready to go. I, I don't think this is going to last uh, five more minutes. And I guess we'll just call it 27 hours. And uh, then we can work on stage two where I figure out about the, the battery capacity of the battery inside the charger unit. Okay, now here's the plan. We're going to test out the battery capacity and the reserve battery in the charger unit. We'll plug this thing in, in and I'll do it on, oh yeah, we've turned the thing on. 
Okay. Okay, we're on high, and uh, we'll start the clock. Okay, it's been on for just a few minutes, and within five minutes, we now have a fully charged light, and the, the charge indicator here is still at full charge. So we'll see here, and this is on high, and uh, once I figure out how long this charge lasts and keeps it going there, we'll be able to figure out the battery capacity of this and what it would be able to do for all the rest of them, so for, uh, for reserve capacity. Well, here we are, six hours and still going strong. Here we are, seven hours, doing fine. Okay, eight hours on the reserve battery and still going strong. Okay, we're just a little bit past eight and a half hours. And you can see the, the blue lights coming on on this unit, but the other unit's still green. So let's just keep an eye on it and see what's going on. Oh, nine and a half hours and everything's looking good. Ten hours with the reserve battery and still going strong. Here we are, 12 hours. Both LEDs are blue, but uh, it's still running 12 hours later, so I'm pretty impressed here. Well, you can see the lights out. I wasn't watching it. It made it 12 hours, and I don't know how much further it made it, you know, maybe another half an hour or so. But uh, let's just call it 12 hours. That's what we, we verified, and that's uh, pretty amazing as far as I'm concerned, running on the, the reserve battery like that because you got the you know the seven hours on the main battery and then you got 12 hours on the reserve battery so uh, by that time the sun will come up and uh, your solar charger can recharge everything